These are the answers for the Arab Achievement Skill Builder activity. Remember, the essential question that we are looking at is, what are some important inventions, discoveries, and achievements of the Arabs? These are the directions that you were supposed to follow when you did the deductive reasoning activity in our haiku learning class. Now, for the rest of this screencast, you're going to have to write the answers in the third column. I'm going to tell you what each achievement is and a couple of details and contributions. For the first slide, the achievement is algebra. The Muslims improved upon the Greeks in mathematics and they created algebra. They were calling them puzzles and the contribution was that it gave them practice and problem solving skills. Now algebra is more than just math. It actually involves trying to figure out how to solve any type of problem. So it goes beyond math into history or politics or engineering. So it's not just math that you guys are looking at. It's actually the idea of solving problems. The second achievement is actually twofold. The first one is astronomy, which is the study of the stars. Now, the Arabs actually improved upon the Greek astrolabe, which is a particular instrument that that gentleman is holding. And that was used to measure latitude, the time of day, and determine the position and movement of the stars and planets. For this slide, most of you got it correct. The Muslim achievement is hospitals. Muslims were the first to create a place where you could bring sick people. Now, hospitals were more than just a place to cure people of diseases. It was also a place to promote health and to also teach and expand medical knowledge, much like most hospitals are today. For the next slide, a lot of you wrote down some very interesting um, thoughts on what you thought this was, but this is actually the idea of bookmaking. Now, Muslims, the story goes, is that they captured some Chinese prisoners, and those prisoners somehow knew how to make paper, and the Muslims took that knowledge and then put it into the idea of making books. Now, since Muslims now had books, it actually led to the diffusion or spread of knowledge and learning. So the book you're looking at here is actually not the Quran. It looks like it's a book on botany or something with uh, animals. This particular achievement here is actually called the House of Wisdom. This one was in your reading. The House of Wisdom was an educational institution. We might call that a college or a university today. In the House of Wisdom, scholars from all over the world, from Arabia, Africa, from China, and from Europe, translated works and studied subjects such as mathematics, astronomy, law, poetry, history, and logic. This next one here is actually called Irrigation Techniques and Underground Wells. This one was also in your reading. This particular achievement helped the Muslims because they were able to perfect the water wheel, which was a Roman invention. And the idea of using underground wells, the purpose of that was to prevent evaporation in the desert environment. This particular slide here, and this was in your reading, is the banking system. Now, Muslims were not the first to invent coins, and a lot of you guys put that down as an invention, but they were actually the first to create a central bank where they could have money from many different foreign countries or international currencies, and they were able to exchange it for a common currency so that people that were trading in the cities of Baghdad and Mecca uh, knew that they weren't being ripped off. The other thing that came with the banking system was the idea of the SAC, We'd call the check today a piece of paper where people could write down an IOU, this type of money. Keep in mind, Muslims are not, would not have been able to invent the check if they had not learned about paper making from the Chinese. This particular achievement here is not a rug. I mean, it is a rug, but the actual achievement is the design itself, geometric and floral design. Muslims are not allowed to draw human or animals. The idea is that if they did that, that they would, it would distract them from worshiping Allah. So they drew patterns instead. So they used arabesques, which are the leaves and flowers, and also geometric shapes. And some of you may be familiar with geometric design because you did tessellations in the sixth grade. This particular achievement here is zoology. Zoology is a study of animals. And for Muslims, this was an important concept because their whole life was dependent on animals for trade and travel, such as camels and goats and sheep. The Muslims were also trying to look for a way to extract medicine that would be able to help uh, Muslims who came to hospitals and needed a type of cure uh, for a disease or a sickness. 
This particular achievement here, herbal medicines and pharmacies. Muslims actually experimented with herbal medicines. It was used to treat disease, kill pain during surgery, and even cleanse wounds. And the idea of pharmacies, that was to provide medications to heal the various illnesses that people had. There's going to be several questions on the Arabia unit test about Arab achievements and their contributions to society. So if necessary, please feel free to review this screencast and make sure that you have all of the notes in the right-hand column. This Arab achievement charts will be part of the level three portion for your notebook.